Today's video is going to be all about the five worst neighborhoods to live in Philadelphia. Yes, Philadelphia has them too. The worst neighborhoods to live. We're basing that solely on real estate appreciation over the last 20 years. Five worst neighborhoods, real estate still appreciated, but just not as much as parts of the other city. There's no depreciation here in Philadelphia. Hey everybody, I'm Gregory Martyr, your local real estate expert. I appreciate you stopping back out here. Thank you so much for visiting our channel. If you like it, make that comment down below. Also hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you can be alerted to all the really great real estate and information related videos on living in Philadelphia. You can also call, email, text, send me a letter, send me a fax. Me and my team are happy to help. We work all the time and we're glad to be part of your real estate experience in Philadelphia. All right, so let's get on it. The five worst neighborhoods neighborhoods in Philadelphia based on real estate appreciation. Now there's no depreciation and I'm not an accountant anyway. We don't work for a HR block here. So that's certainly different, but I, we could certainly discuss real estate depreciation at length as we've been in real estate for a long time here. But today's video is just going to be about the sections of Philadelphia that have not appreciated as much as those that have. These are really great areas to live, and some of them are really great areas to live, but at neighborhood appreciation, not so much. Coming in at number five, we got Cobbs Creek. We did a really great video series on Cobbs Creek. You gotta check out the video there. Awesome place to live. Real estate values now, average price point right around 175,000. We can get you something in right that $40,000 range all the way up to $850,000. About 20 years ago, we could get them as low as 2,000 and as high as about 240,000. So you can see they really have appreciated over time, just not as much mathematically and exactly calculated as other parts of the city. But Cobbs Creek coming in at number five. All right, number four, we got Elmwood Park. Little pocket of the city, great little space to check out, great for investing. Back when, some time ago, this day in history, you could buy every house in Elmwood Park for under $100,000. Between $6,000 and $99,000. Today you can't do that, but they do go as low as around $20,000, and they do get higher than $200,000, almost $250,000. Still a great place to invest, really great place to live, Gotta check it out. Okay, number three, number three. Big part of the city, Castor. Number three is Castor. Values used to be under 300,000, between 10 and 275. Today's average price point is right around 150,000, anywhere from 40 to 289. You can see these sections of the city have really appreciated over the years. We're usually in a real estate, we're using a one to two, maybe 3%. On average, guarantee, I guarantee that your taxes will always be there and that your taxes will go up, but I can't really guarantee anything else, but from what we've seen on our team and what we've seen in real estate, generally speaking, in our lifetimes, absolutely going to go up. It's one of the best investments you can make between one and 3% a year on average. All right, you wanna double your money? Yeah, I know, doubling your money sounds great, right? Well, that's what brings us in at number two. Although, wait, this is the worst neighborhood to live in Philadelphia. Why am I so happy about it? You see, I really can't find anything bad to say, but number two coming in, Bustleton. We've only doubled our money here in 20 years. Sorry, Bustleton. <laughs> it's actually a really great part of the city. Housing values are right around $100,000, all the way up to 600,000, with that average price point somewhere in that $200,000 range. We can get you some great spots in that 150 awesome places in the $300,000 range it used to be as low as $10,000 all the way up to around that $300,000 mark. So as you can see, we've 10 times our money, 10x, 10x, and also doubled our money in some cases. That's what brings Bustleton in is number two. Okay, and the moment you've all been waiting for. The worst neighborhood to live in Philadelphia based on real estate appreciation only, Nice Town and Tioga. Nothing nice to say about nice town. Now that's not true, but real estate values have not appreciated the most. Is that a double negative? In that certain section of the city, but what a cool spot. We actually talk about nice town in some of our videos. You want to buy a house today in nice town, Tioga? You might spend as much as $14,000 or as little as $210,000. Oh wait, that's a little backwards. Now the average prices here are between 14 and 210. 
20 years ago, could have bought every house in nice town for under $50,000. Now that's not every single house. I think you understand what I mean, but the prices back then were between $1,000. That's right, $1,000. For less than your monthly food bill, you can buy a house up to $46,000. That's what brings it in at number one. Still got a ton of appreciation here in the city. You got a ton of appreciation all over the county, all over the greater Philadelphia area. I hope you enjoyed our video here on the worst places to live in Philadelphia based on neighborhood appreciation. If you have a comment, please hit it down below. You want to subscribe to our channel? I would advise that you do that. You want us to talk about some other areas? Maybe you're interested in investing in the area or maybe you're interested in some other sections of the city or maybe you want to know what is the meaning of life in Philadelphia? Be happy to give our opinion, be happy to give you an answer. Comment that down below, hit subscribe, click the bell, but you can call, email, text us anytime. We get a ton of messages from you all and we do answer all communication. We're happy to help and glad to do it. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert here in the greater Philadelphia area. We got you covered in Jersey. We got you covered in the city, out of the city. We got you covered in the suburbs too. Give me a call anytime, I'm happy to help. Thanks so much everybody.